The medical term for injecting a specific food through a vein is parenteral nutrition, sometimes known as total parenteral nutrition, intravenously. The treatment's aim is to treat or stop malnutrition. Liquid nutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes are provided by parenteral nutrition. So today, let's go through how and why we use intravenous feeding. How is it done? A sizable intravenous tubing is necessary for parenteral nourishment. A major vein, such as a subclavian vein, which is found under the collarbone, must be used to implant the tube, also known as a central venous catheter. Infections are a possibility because the central venous catheter must be in place for a long time. Healthcare professionals strictly adhere to sterile procedures when placing and maintaining the catheter to lower the danger. They carry out some measures such as before inserting the catheter, clean the skin around the insertion area. Every day, replace the tubing that connects the bag of formula to the catheter. Every other day, change the bandages holding the catheter in place. Additionally, limiting the use of the catheter in intravenous feeding lowers the risk of infection. Doctors run a guide wire through the skin to vein needle after inserting it to situate the catheter. The catheter is inserted over the guide wire once the needle has been removed. An x-ray may be taken after a small ultrasound instrument has been used to guide catheter placement to ensure the catheter is positioned correctly. The catheter is frequently inserted into the subclavian vein beneath the collarbone. Why is it done? Parenteral nutrition is used by people whose digestive systems either can't absorb or can't accept enough food consumed orally. Intravenous nutrition is referred to as home parenteral nutrition when it is used outside of a hospital. Home parenteral nourishment may be required for several weeks, months, or perhaps the rest of the patient's life. One of the following conditions may necessitate parenteral nutrition. Cancer. An obstruction of the bowels brought on by digestive tract cancer could make it difficult to consume enough food. Cancer treatments, like chemotherapy, may compromise your body's ability to absorb nutrients. Crohn's illness. An inflammatory condition of the intestine known as Crohn's disease can cause pain, intestinal narrowing, and other symptoms that influence how much food is consumed, how it is digested, and how much of it is absorbed. Syndrome of the short bowel. You don't have enough bowel in this condition to absorb enough of the nutrients you eat which might be present at birth or arise from surgery that removes a sizable portion of the small intestine. Intestinal ischemia. Due to decreased blood flow to the bowel, this could result in problems, 